Hey, it's the Iowa Prairie Girl. Today we're going to take a look at swamp milkweed. Did you know that the monarch caterpillar will only eat milkweed? The milkweed plant provides everything that that monarch caterpillar needs to transform into a monarch butterfly. Sometimes monarch butterflies are called milkweed butterfly. So we're going to take a look at this plant. Today I am at Wilkerson Park in Rock Falls, Iowa. I'm in Saragota County and I'm along the pond here in the park. And that's where you're going to find milkweed, swamp milkweed. Swamp milkweed is a wetland plant. You're going to find it along edges of uh, streams, lakes, ponds. You're going to find it in wet marshes, uh, swampy areas, and then also in wet ditches. So this plant here um, is kind of past its bloom. It was prettier last week. Um, swamp milkweed blooms in June and August, and this is the second week in August. So back to the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly in the last 20 years has decreased in population by 97%. It hit an all-time low in the winter of 2018 and 19, uh, where, we, where it was believed that there was only about 30,000 monarch butterflies left. But through efforts um, with the United States and Mexico, uh, both doing conservation efforts um, for the butterfly and for planting milkweed, that population has skyrocketed and in the last year they believe that the population of monarch butterflies has gone up by 144%. So it's a real success story of, you know, grow it or build it and they will come. And I don't know about you, but I've seen a whole lot more monarch butterflies in the last two years than I have in the last 10. So if you stick around, we're going to take a look at swamp milkweed. We'll talk a little bit about how easy it is to grow. We'll talk about how to identify it um, and maybe some other fun facts. Now here's a beautiful specimen of a swamp milkweed. I am in a ditch near my home in Saragota County in Iowa and most milkweeds grow between one to four feet tall and this one is over five feet tall. This is a beautiful bushy uh, plant of swamp milkweed. Now let's talk about some of the um, distinguishing characteristics of swamp milkweed. One thing is the leaves. Leaves are different on this on this milkweed than other milkweed. Um, the, these leaves get to be about six inches long. They are um, about a half a, an inch and a, inch and a half wide. They are a dark, um, deep green. And oops, I picked one off. And uh, they they taper to a tip. Now, one thing that's different about this milkweed than other milkweeds, um, it does have sap, but it has less sap. So if you were to break one of these stems, there would be some milky sap. Um, but not as much as what you'd see in a common milkweed. And same thing with the leaves. On a common milkweed, if you broke the leaf, you would have sap coming out of that leaf, and there's no sap out of these leaves. So it does have some sap, but not as much. And then the leaves also are um, opposite of each other, meaning they go right across um, from the stem on each other. And uh, I guess that's all I know about the leaf. Um, so let's talk about the flower. Look, there's a monarch butterfly. I couldn't, I couldn't plan that. Hello. Um, and there's bees too. So not only are our swamp milkweeds good for monarch butterflies, but all kinds of butterflies and bees uh, really benefit from the swamp milkweed. Okay, so we talk about the flower. There is a very common characteristic of all milkweed, and I talked about this also in my butterfly milkweed video, and you can see that there as well. But on a swamp milkweed, the flower has some very distinct um, characteristics. One, they have five petals that flare downward. And so on the swamp milkweed, it has uh, five pink colored, um, usually pink colored, maybe rose colored, almost, almost a magenta color, uh, five petals that flare downward. And then it has five hoods that go upward. And those are also kind of a pinkish color. And, um, those go upward and they create like a crown. Um, and then also they have little horns. There's five horns in there. And they're really hard to see if you're just looking at it with a naked eye, but if you took a picture um, and then uh, zoomed in on that picture, you could see those little horns. And so those are the characteristics of a swamp milkweed, are the, are the five down and the five up and the five horns. 
Um, and if you want more terms, uh, I describe that more in more detail in my other video on this uh, butterfly milkweed. Um, the other thing about uh, milkweed is that the way this flower is created, when a um, an insect uh, visits the flower, its foot often will slip down into one of these crevices made by these five um, hoods, and that's where the sac uh, of pollen is, and it gets stuck on their foot. And sometimes only the really strong insects are able to pull that sack out. Though sometimes there'll be uh, insects that get stuck on a, on a milkweed and they can't get back out of off the flower. Um, so the strong insects will carry that, that pollen sack off and then when they visit the next uh, plant, their foot will again slip into one of these crevices and uh, then drop off that pollen sack. So as you can see, this is just an absolute gorgeous uh, swamp milkweed here, um, and it's been visited um, by a lot of different butterflies and bees in just the short time that I've been down here. One thing that I really like about swamp milkweed is that it's easy to grow. Uh, I've planted swamp milkweed in pots uh, near my home, and then they grow up to be real tall, and uh, then in the late summer, I transplant them out into my prairie. And here is a swamp milkweed that I planted last year, um, late, in the, late in the summer. Um, it, it does like wet spots. Like I said, this spot was real wet last, last summer when we actually dug the hole, it was full of water and we just plopped it right in there and it's done very well. I actually have five swamp milkweed growing right here that I planted last year. Um, also, they've, they flowered while they are near my house and um, must have had some seeds fall. And so now I have more swamp milkweed growing in pots that I found uh, growing underneath my deck. Uh, little shoots come up and I transplanted them and I'll, uh, later this, this summer, I'll put those back out into my prairie as well. Um, some uses for swamp milkweed. The Native Americans would take the flower heads and boil them down and make a sugary syrup with them. Uh, the flower heads and leaves are also edible. Um, but you want to be careful, you know what you're doing, don't, please don't follow my instructions, but I have read that they're edible. Um, but it also is a very toxic plant. Uh, it's been used for very strong medicine, uh, used for, um, make a medicine similar to uh, digitalis, so it would be used for heart failure. Also, uh, uh, Native Americans would use it to make a medicine to uh, use to deworm a person. So you want to be careful about that. Okay, on a lighter note, um, another thing that I really like about swamp milkweed are their seed pods. And swamp milkweed also has some really neat uh, seed pods. Uh, they'll, uh, when they're first developing, they're about four inches long, uh, real slender, light green. And then um, as the plant dries up later in the summer into the fall, that pod will dry up and uh, turn brown. And then it will uh, bust open when it's all dry and the seeds will come out. The seeds are, um, little brown circles with a silky white uh, parachute on them and they blow out in the wind and uh, that's how the milkweed seeds are dispersed. Um, lots of fun things about milkweed floss or silk. Uh, you can see it on my video, Iowa Prairie Girl and Milkweed Floss. Um, just to mention a few of those things, um, the milkweed floss is five times warmer than wool and six times more buoyancy, or has more buoyancy than cork. And so um, milkweed floss has been used in jackets, in pillows, mattresses, uh, life jackets in World War II. So it has uh, quite a bit of use for the, the milkweed floss. And other than it's just fun sometimes to take a milkweed pod and, and pop it open and throw the seeds out into the wind. Uh, a little folklore on that. Um, it said if you put milkweed um, floss or you make a pillow out of milkweed floss and you sleep on that uh, and you have a dream, you're going to dream of fairies. And uh, also if you have milkweed floss floating in the wind and you're able to catch it and then release it again, then uh, your wish will be granted. So that's what I know about swamp milkweed. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my video and uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you get a chance to get out and discover some milkweed and uh, find out how, what a cool plant it is. And uh, I hope that you get out and see something wonderful.
Thank you. This is Iowa Prairie Girl.